Hey everyone, what is going on? This is Keo Daikin. And in today's video, I wanna show you guys what a official RetroPie base looks like. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, you've been subscribed for a while. Obviously I do videos on a number of subjects, but most of the bases that you guys have seen me work with here on this channel have been Supreme bases. Uh, things that have been edited or modified and heavily improved upon uh, in the RetroPie genre. So we're gonna take a look at RetroPie 4.7.1. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because a lot of people have a misconception about what a official RetroPie base looks like, and they really aren't appreciative of what uh, the community has to offer. You know, some of the image makers, some of the things that they add, and also some of the devs who are not uh, affiliated with the retro official RetroPie team. Uh, they make a lot of improvements on the base. And so we're going to take a look at, at that today. And uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because I, obviously I show a lot of other Supreme bases. You guys have seen me show two plays uh, base on here, which is uh, Playbox. And so most of you who are on my channel, you subscribe to this channel because you've seen maybe some of my firework videos, RC cars, other tech related stuff here. So let's get into it. I want to show you guys what a official RetroPie base looks like. And so that way you guys can appreciate what some of the devs in the community uh, does to help your experience in RetroPie look a lot better. Stay tuned. So this is what the official RetroPie base looks at looks like at boot up. Uh, you don't have any uh, splash videos, although you can change that in the official RetroPie base. But uh, all the things that a lot of you may think makes RetroPie look cool, you don't get that with the base. So you get that standard text with the standard boot up. Um, and of course, this base will work the 4.7.1. It will work with your Pi 400 if any of you guys are interested in that. And so this is what the initial boot screen looks like. So um, for those of you guys who have been uh, looking at some of the other bases that I covered, the devs, they replaced that. So you obviously have a lot of other stuff to cut down on some of the boot time uh, codes that they have uh, entered or uh, commands that they've actually entered to cut down on some of these screens. And then of course, if you do have a splash screen, which you can enter or use on the official base, it will erase a lot of this stuff here. And as you can see, there's the boot time. It's a little bit slower than what you guys have seen on some of the other bases. So uh, for this particular video, I know this is gonna be really uh, simple. I've loaded it with a few of the ROMs here. This is your standard uh, theme that you have called Carbon. It doesn't have a lot of themes on here. Uh, the RetroPie official team doesn't add any copyrighted content. Um, as far as I know, uh, they don't add any copyrighted content on here. Uh, you do have copyrighted images as far as these pictures because these PNG photos obviously were created by somebody. So uh, let's take a look here. So I have a few PlayStation games. We have RetroPie, uh, the settings, you have Arcade, Atari. So this is the basic layout of what RetroPie official uh, looks like. We have audio, you have your Bluetooth menu there. You have your configuration editor, you have your ES theme. So you can download additional themes on here. So uh, a lot of other image makers or people who have put themes up in the community. Yes, of course, you can use these for this image or for this base. You have your file manager, you have Raspi config, you have RetroArch, RetroArch Netplay. And in order to be successful with RetroArch Netplay, you do have to have the same core. So anybody pretty much using 4.7.1, and uh, they have the same cores. You can play arcade games or other PlayStation games and stuff like that with them as well. Um, show your IP, it'll show your IP address. You can configure your, your Wi-Fi. And of course you do have your splash screen. So this is what the official base looks like. Now, of course you guys have seen my other videos where you've seen uh, uh, other image makers or devs, they add in different settings such as a video output script. Um, they have Hursty's themes. He's one of the image makers, or uh, he's actually a theme maker in the community. He has his own customized option, which you guys would normally find here. And then of course there are other new options for RetroPie 4, where you would see a track mode or switch over to Pegasus. You have, uh, you can switch to different themes. So 
Uh, all those things are added by the community. Now, a lot of things that you guys may not be aware of uh, is, we're gonna go ahead back here. I'm gonna pull up a different game here. And we're gonna pull up, let me pull up Atari or PlayStation because I know it's loaded. Okay, so uh, what you guys are looking at now are your snaps. Uh, so for those of you not familiar with this in the community, a lot of people ask, what is RetroPie? And uh, RetroPie is a housing for a number of emulators and things on your front end. So uh, I know a lot of you in the community have said, well, I don't like a preloaded image is better to make your own. But most of you may not be aware that this was not part of the official RetroPie base uh, some time ago. Uh, these video loading screens, uh, actually not the video loading screens, I'm sorry, but these video snaps that you're looking at on the right side. Uh, I believe this was a code added by a guy named David Marty. I believe he's still in the community, maybe still active. I'm really not sure. But for me, when I first saw RetroPie, this is what really uh, got my attention. The ability to have your video games on one side of the screen and get a snap preview of what the game is you're getting ready to select. So um, for me, this is what really made RetroPie. But unfortunately, uh, this was not in the original base. However, it was added by the official team great idea by them to add it, but it's just really cool. So, um, that's just a little bit of history about RetroPie, but, um, it's all, it all looks nice. This is part of the official base now, but this was something added by somebody in the community. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And the reason why I stress that is because I know some of you I've talked to personally and say, Hey, I don't need all that extra stuff. And, and, uh, but you have to keep in mind that a lot of improvements that have gone into the community or, uh, some of the things like this that was incorporated into the base were things actually implemented by people in the community, such as yourself. So who knows, maybe one night, you know, one day you guys will come up with a great idea to help out the community and maybe they'll incorporate it into the base. But, uh, that's just good to know, just FYI for your information, as far as what an official base looks like. And then of course we have arcade. Now, some of these games uh, by start will not work by default. Uh, there are some configurations and stuff that you do need to do uh, after you add this. Uh, so for example, right now, I believe this is gonna launch or maybe 2003, it may error out. Okay, so it is launching. But um, essentially a lot of times when uh, builders and image makers get these uh, base images and start working on them, they fix up a lot of stuff for you so you guys don't have to uh, go ahead and do some things. So um, if I know I, if I went ahead and started playing some PlayStation games, uh, they some of those don't work by default, but there's additional configurations that have to go into that. And so I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that have been looked upon in the community because I think a lot of people really don't appreciate uh, some of the work that uh, others do in the community, image makers or primarily devs who are working on the base to ease your experience. So that way it's more of a plug and play experience for you instead of having to go through and preset every emulator or make sure you have every emulator up to date. I know one of the things that uh, guys in the community such as 2Play and also the Supreme team, they've added an online toolkit uh, to each one of their bills. So that way, if there was an error or mistake, they could fix it on the server. You just download it instead of having to download a whole new build because there was something missing from it. So all in all, I just wanted to show you guys what some of the differences are as far as using a official base versus something that has already been pre-made. A lot of work has been you know, already done for you. And so those are just some of the differences here uh, that you have uh, with these uh, base images. But you know, pretty much me, um, I've actually gotten away from the base images. I mean, they're pretty cool. If you guys want to start building your own personal base image off of the Retro Pie official base, uh, it's definitely a good experience. In fact, that's actually how I started. I didn't start by making my own images. I actually started working my way up, uh, messing around and figuring out how to make my own custom image. Because when I first found out about Retro Pie, I already had all the ROMs. In fact, I had four or five ROM types of every game that has ever been uh, in the arcade. And so the biggest issue I had was I wasn't too familiar with the images. So I figured, well, why do I need all that when I have all the ROMs and I could just load them myself? So 
Uh, I just wanted to showcase for you guys what a official RetroPie base looks like. This is 4.7.1. This will work on Pi 400. And just give you guys my honest thoughts about uh, the experience with this. Uh, personally, I I wouldn't be going back to an official base because there's a lot of well-needed things that have been added in the community. And just overall, uh, I really don't see too much of an interest for me because obviously I love video loading screens. I love a lot of other things you can add as far as your customized music, which you can add on onto this as well. But a lot of the stuff that you guys are getting with the pre-made image is already done for you to make your experience a whole lot easier. Uh, but personally, I wouldn't be going with something like this, you know, myself because I've gotten used to pre-made images and then of course, I would say a pre-made base. And then of course I tailor it from there. But uh, yeah, this is what RetroPie official looks like. If you guys have never really seen uh, the differences, um, I know there was an update some time ago where uh, during, I think it was the middle of this year, middle of 2020, where there was an update, but yet a lot of the emulators were outdated. And so uh, that was something else to keep in mind. But I believe all that's been fixed now. But again, guys, this is Kildike and just wanted to just give you guys this little basic tutorial about uh, how I see the RetroPie official, what the base looks like. If you guys wanna use it, you know, if you wanna build from this, it's obviously A-OK, -okay. but just keep in mind that there are people in the community that have um, improved upon uh, the great things that they have done over here to make your experience a lot easier. So um, if this is interested for you, you can find it directly from the RetroPie.org website. Uh, they have a download there where you can download the 4.7.1 interface and of course, just play around with it and see how you guys like it. So I'm um, just tuning, uh, checking out here, guys. This is Kiel Dyken. Hope you guys have a good day. Catch you guys later.